your refinement zone could be content creation, could be telling stories, it could be enlightening people, could be helping people, assisting others. The do you, do you want to help people not do the stumbles that you went through? That's what we're talking about here. That's where we're trying to help you because the world is growing faster and faster. As Mitch just said, with the AI stuff and all of that, it it ain't slowing down, everybody. Mm -mm. I'm telling you right now, it's going to keep growing and going and going. So that brings us to Black Circle Radio and Black Circle Media and Black Circle. What is Black Circle Radio and how does it, why is it important for people to understand that that is your brainchild, Mitch? Go ahead, share the story, please. Yeah, well, thanks, Tom. Um, so uh, Black Circle Radio um, is my program. It was, uh, you know, 15 years. We're in our 15th season. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks of uh, all vinyl, uh, all vinyl record broadcasting. Um, and that was uh, put together by um, Archival, uh, Jordan and I, uh, co-founders, and put that together in 2009 um, while I was at Central and uh, in, in the broadcasting program over there. Um, and uh, from there, it's it's gone and turned into a, a business model of some sorts and to producing. Um, man, I added it up. Someone asked me a couple weeks ago, um, like, how many audio uh podcasts or radio shows have i produced for that only that specifically talk about audio or music or record industry or whatever and that number was five and then the number of programs that weren't audio specific was uh six and so i thought no seven um and that was pretty uh eye-opening i guess in a reflective way to be like wow uh Produced for twelve ish programs. Now. Um, Tell the story that's about a, that's a lot of shit. Why you asked me to get with Tony, and, and then what we did to amplify his voice and to mm -hmm. make our content better. Tell that story, would you please? You got a, you got about four minutes to go before break. Oh, sweet, yeah. Um, well, I was really intrigued by uh, Dr. Avellino, the first episode that uh, that he was on that I heard him. Um, but the issue was, it was really, it was difficult for me to hear him. Uh, and so from, he, he's got such a cool, brilliant mind. Right. Um, and, uh, I wanted to hear him better. And I come from a place, um, where you have to be able to hear yourself, uh, kind of like a third eye thing, you know, um, and you have to be able to have a conversation with yourself. You have to be able to hear yourself internally and externally. Um, and with Dr. Evelino, I think that that was one of the issues. He couldn't hear himself uh, well enough. And a lot of that is not his, it's not the person's fault. It's that flat out, like the headphone output of your computer doesn't have enough gain a lot of time for you to be able to hear yourself or your uh, whoever you're speaking with correctly. So things get lost, conversations get derailed, um, stumbling over words, stumbling over where you're going to go next. Video and, uh, and it's been a fun ride. And that's what we're talking about today with creating compelling content with our extraordinarily talented producer, Mitch Anderson. Mitch, before we jump back into the tech and we finish the story of Dr. Avellino and our performance living new concept that we're working with um, on our on our episodes, mm -hmm. how would you like people to get a hold of you in case they need some consulting, if they need some tech updates, if they need some just how how would you like people to go about doing? Yeah, that? I mean probably uh, uh, blackcircleradio.com dot um, or uh, the best I guess email would just be um, blackcirclemediagroup uh, at gmail dot com. And, and I'm on all, all socials, Black Circle Radio. You can just Google Black Circle the, Radio. If you're watching the video here, excuse me, Mitch, if you're watching the video here, listening to us on the radio show or the podcast, you want to check out the video because Mitch was very astute in putting his Black Circle Radio, his cap, right behind him. I have several of his shirts. His mm -hmm. merchandise is sweet. Thank I wear you. these Thank shirts you. to the university when I work out. Students are like, where can I get one of those? 
<laughs> well, you just found the guy you need you to go. get this stuff from. Now, I don't know if he's into too much into the merchandising of all that because that's another wrinkle into the content creation. But again, merchandise is content. It. it is. Yeah, it is. It is. All part I mean, of it. Yeah, your your sweatshirt came in too, Tom. I got a, oh, I, I got a nice sweatshirt over here waiting for you. Great, man. I got to send you that old album I bought too a year ago. That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yep, absolutely. Let's let's continue the thread with Dr. Avellino and what, sure. what was happening with that because this is something that's very important for people to understand with the tech side of things. Because you say you want to start a podcast, you want to start doing um, something like we're doing, which I would encourage everybody to do. It's fun. It's, it's the right way to do it. But like so many of these people I see on national media, on the television, they use – they, they, I don't know what the deal is. Uh, maybe I'm just an audio snob, but when it comes to some of these people, right, Mitch? I mean, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 like you're listening to somebody, you're listening to a congressman or congresswoman mm -hmm. or senator, and they're talking to their laptop microphone, and it sounds like they're speaking in a tin can, which is kind of what was happening with Tony a little bit. It was tin can ish, yeah, and it makes me just. And I know you're the same way. It just makes me want to watch my, well, I'll, I'll click off. I mean, I won't even watch.